All right, thanks for joining me here for part two. And I'm going to give you the first way I'm going to make it is what's called a dirty pour. A dirty pour is where all the paints go into one cup and then that's um, actually applied to the canvas. So let's start with two parts, Floetrol. Because it's a little bit of a larger canvas, I'm going to start with two ounces of the Floetrol. Um, and this will um, smooth it out. But because this is the base color and it's going to be white, um, I'm putting it in the larger cup because the other smaller cups will then add to that. So once I measure out two ounces, just about, and I'm going to add the paint. And again, this one is just going to be the white paint because it is going to be the, the, uh, the base. So now I use one part paint. And I'm going to just use this uh, acrylic gesso that I got. It's probably a little thicker than it needs to be, but I just go ahead and measure out. And in this particular case, I'm going to do one ounce. Um, there we go. So then once we've got the paint in there, we don't want to add the water just yet. We're going to mix it up because... You know, the paint and the Floetrol mix really well, but if you added the water, it would get a little gloopy. So let's uh, go ahead and mix that up well. And now we're going to do a one part of water. And this is the distilled water. And like I say, once I uh, filled it in this container, it made it a little bit easier for measuring it. So I'm going to take the cap off and go ahead and get myself one ounce of the water. And then I'll just mix it up really nice and make sure it's fully, you know, fully mixed. Uh, now, because this is the base coat, it's the white, I want that to set and I don't want it to come up through from the bottom. So I'm not going to add any silicone to this. But now, because the base color, I need more of it. Um, I'm only going to do one ounce, not two ounces. So I'm going to start with one ounce of the flow trail um, to, uh, uh, because I don't really need as much as the individual colors. All right, so it was just a little bit over an ounce, but now I do my half an ounce of color and a half an ounce of the distilled water. And the only thing the difference here is, is I want those cells to create. So I'm gonna use the silicone and get about, about five to maybe 10, 10 or 11 drops is what I've been using in these, uh, in these little two ounce containers. And the one thing is I don't really stir these up really good because I, I don't want them to completely have small little bubbles. I want these to be large cells that will appear. So I just, just slightly mix the silicone in. Right, and then I just repeat the process with the two parts flow trill, one part paint, and then one part water, and then the silicone with just oh, about seven to ten drops of silicone in there. And I might vary that depending on what the color is. And continue on as as many colors you want. In this particular case, I did three primary colors and then I've got the white. Now let me show you how we combine them. All right, so I've got my larger container with the white uh, paint. And I'm going to add on the yellow. Now remember, the white didn't have any silicone on it. But the yellow, the red, and then I'll pour in some of the blue. Again, you don't have to be too concerned about it. It'll mix itself together. And then once we have those in there, it's ready to be applied to the canvas. And you can see how they you know, keep separated the colors with the white. Now let's go ahead and apply it to the canvas. And you can see the little platform I made to kind of rise it up a little bit. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your paint, you're gonna take your canvas, and essentially flip it upside down. But let me show you that in more detail. And so now we're gonna invert it and just leave it. Don't try to lift it up right away because you want all that paint to drain from the top of the cup. So just give it a you know 60 or 90, you know, give it about 30 or 60 seconds. That paint will eventually start sopping up through the bottom. But once you know you're ready to go, you're gonna just lift that cup. I got my area so it'll drain off the sides, and here we go. Just lift it straight up, and you'll see how the colors will sort of lay there in a big thick paint and this is where you want to start pouring it and letting it run to get each corner because you want the entire canvas to be filled so it's going to drip and pour all over the canvas and 
you'll see how the colors will sort of reveal themselves as they do that and you'll see how these little dots or cells start to be created once it's fully covered you want to coax those cells out you want to get any air bubbles that are in there out so heat is the best way of doing it now I use just a heat gun um, a torch like a butane torch would work just as well um, but with the uh, plastic that I'm using just to be safe I'm using the heat gun so let's take a closer look. Now this is going to take probably 12 to 20 hours to full dry, but you see how it's created these cells of different colors. And these are just, you got white, red, yellow, and blue. And the more you look at it, the more detailed it gets. I mean, that area looks really cool. And, uh, you know, different techniques, you know, have different ways of doing it. If you search out on YouTube, there's definitely different ways of doing it. But this would be my first example of a very colorful cool pattern and now it's just a matter of letting it dry and then clear coating it on the top a little moment for everything to kind of drip off of there and then I'll move it over to a fan and let it sit there for about 12 to 24 hours before it's truly dry all the way and then I'll clear so once you start experimenting with it, you just want to try different colors and different techniques um, of swirling it and laying it down on the paper. Again, search online. There's plenty of ways of doing it. But man, some of the results are just stunning. I mean, just phenomenal. So, you know, if you have any questions, post them down below. If you give it a try, if you've done that, let me know how it worked out for you. But... Uh, as you can see, they're just some beautiful works of art. But thanks. Uh, this is, again, Chris Demetric from TDW Woodwork, and we will see you on the flip side.